Night Owls, my name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to The Sims 4 City Living from Rags to Riches. The flea market is in town, so Sleepy Junie Boy is about to get up and go over there because we need to sell some stuff. I don't think there's anyone that we really want to take with us, so let's just get going. Let's get him up out of bed. Come on, dude. It's time to sell your stuff. You have paintings to sell, and maybe hopefully we can get rid of the last few snow globes and the wood carvings. Although we only have like three wood carvings left, I think it is. Because we haven't really been doing that many wood carvings. We try to focus on music. We try to focus on paintings of the romances. So we try to focus on everything else that we can possibly do to get money, but not wood carving. Because so far, the wood carvings aren't worth that much. So it's just like, eh. Just meh. So let's pause this right here, right now, before someone else gets this. I don't know if other people try to sell paintings, but maybe they do. I don't know. Let's plop our two paintings down on there and stock table. And then we're gonna, after we sell these, because these tend to sell pretty quickly. As long as we can mark up our prizes as long as much as we want. Oh, look at that. Ten table, then... Oh, I was just like, where is it? Then mark up 300% to get the most money out of this. Don't know why that's all the way up there. I mean, oh. Man, that one's not gonna get that much money. I forgot how much of that one actually sucked. Doesn't seem like the flea market has that many things to do, though. It's just sell, sell, sell. And there's, like, no easels to paint on or anything like that. We can get some more money, so that's a little unfortunate. June's trying to talk to Ahana again, and it looks like we can get some more posters here. Actually, what the hell is this? What? I didn't notice that ever before. Okay, I guess that's advertising that there's food here. But, Junie, focus on selling your posters. Maybe Ahana will... She's a vendor this time around, you guys. She's totally a vendor. And wow... That is a, that suit looks very ill-fitting. Or maybe it's just the sleeves that are just really weird. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was Mom back there, but that's uh, that's Luna, right? Hot tip, there's some great performance playing at the flea market. You offer this uh, Dina, really? You're like the most random person to try to invite us to this stuff. After June sells his posters, if he ever does, we can get some food for him because clearly he's hungry and he's not very comfortable. And then we can go collect those uh, those posters. Or did I sell, say sell posters? I meant sell paintings. Unless I said sell paintings. Whoops! Oh, Yuki's here. Hey, Yuki's always buying stuff, so maybe she'll buy some. Wait, she's an adult already. What? What? Wow, she aged a lot, you guys. When we saw her, she was like a teenager. Oh, man. All right, buy the stuff, people, please. We don't have any use for all the stuff here. I can't believe it. Yuki and Alice are an adult at the same time. Alice started as a young adult, and Yuki started as a teen. Man, that's crazy, but whoa, we just sold our first painting. How much was that for? Oh. Oh, Alice bought the last one. Okay, so wait, I don't think we can see how much we sold them for, right? No. Crap, you guys. I'm going to have to play that back to actually see how much the first one sold for. But I think it was over 700 simoleons, right? Anyway, June is... Okay, instead of ordering food, how about you haggle first? Let's see. Where haven't we really eaten from? I don't think we've eaten from this place that much. So haggle over here. Or, oh. Haggle over there and see what you can get. I hope it's something good because I, I want to complete all the foods that Junie hasn't really eaten just yet. Okay, good. Show up. Oh, I know we haven't bought this ever. I think we might have had pork pork adobo, pork adobo. Ensay, ensaymada, ensaymada, lumpia, ensaymada, lumpia. I think we haven't had that one. We might have had lumpia. I can't remember. But oh, someone's food is right there. Okay, someone. Oh, that was Faustus. Wait, I thought it was that was Faustus food. Well, Junie just bought some food for. I swear it was seven simoleons. It always charges me one more simoleon than what it says. I don't know what that's about. Oh, Yuki's having some curry. There's a curry. Oh, the Indian, Indian curry right there. And then here we have the Vietnamese cart. I think that's what it is. So Junie's just going to enjoy his inside inside mother that we've never really heard of. I wonder what that is. It looks very yellowish and... I'm going to look it up right now because I, I want to know what it is. Inside I'm probably pronouncing that very wrong too. Okay, it's a it's a pastry product from Mallorca, Spain. It's a common cuisine in most former Spanish territories in Latin America and the Philippines. The first written references to the Mallorcan and Samada date back to the 17th century. So it's a Spanish name, so I should know how to pronounce that. Ooh. Oh, June so far has discovered 15 of the 27 recipes available in the city. I have to wonder which ones we haven't eaten because I haven't really been paying attention to that. Let's go over here. Actually, let's collect the posters before we go and start selling our other stuff because posters can us a good amount of money. And that's what we're looking for right now. We have 7,000. We need a lot more to get that restaurant up and running because unfortunately, that's just how it is. I do want to decorate Junie's apartment with holiday stuff, but I don't think I'm going to make him buy it. Like, I'll quote unquote buy it for him and then afterward, I'll just delete him and not give him the money back. 
because it would be nice to just have it decorated without him having to spend so much on it. I mean, I do want it like super decorated because holidays are awesome time. I already have my Christmas tree up and it's it's looking really awesome. It's like it's, it has red and uh, white lights and red and silver tinsel and gold ornaments. And it's just so cool looking. It's a very small tree though. Not like small in height, but small in width. <laughs> it's a very skinny tree is what I should have said. So let's sell these things over here. What is June going to do? I really hope you're... Not tipping. Do not tip. Do not tip. You don't have the money for that, kid. Let's just go over here and we can stock table. And then we can sell this stuff. These posters. Oh, we have just some common posters there. And that one's uncommon. It's a bit more. So, hey. We're almost at 8,000 simoleons. I figure that, you know, we've been finding a lot of ways to make a lot more money a lot faster than before. So, this is actually really good. Let's tend the table here and hope that, I don't know, someone will buy this stuff. Because... It seems like it's never really the case. So let's start the street sale. I don't know if that's actually going to help any. I don't know why we have to start street sale if we can just tend table. People are selling their homework. Wait, are people selling their homework? You can't really buy it, so I don't think people are really selling their homework. Well, I can't really come over here and buy this stuff either. I can just view inventory. Is that how it works? No. What? I can't, like, buy anything from here. Okay, that's weird. Maybe because Junie is actually at the street sale. Like, you know, holding his own street sale. Ooh, I like this chair a lot. What kind of discount? 60 simoleons? I might just have to get that. Although, it's a little... It's a single dining chair. It seems kind of sketch. Although, I, I guess Junie's color isn't purple. So, maybe it's just my own thing. But, I'm pretty sure I could change the color afterward. And if I can't, then that's weird. Cavill dining chair. I've never seen that one before. But then again, I don't pay attention to, th to furniture. That's... That's... That style. And that just looks super old. I kind of sort of like this, but I like this a lot better. Or maybe they're like part of the same set. I don't know. But that's just terrible. Ooh, someone bought something. Hey, and Junie's actually talking to a lot of people right now. Faust. Oh, he's saying goodbye to Faust. Maybe it was Faust who bought the stuff. I wasn't paying attention to him here. But Candy is here. And this kid is here. He makes a lot of money from selling paintings. So maybe he has enough money to spend on our crap. Let's see what he buys. Oh, Nico. Nico, hi. Um, Are you going to buy anything here? Or are you just going to sing to me? What's going on, buddy? Oh, is that Max? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's Max. Max became a vendor. Oh my gosh. And his suit still looks, I don't know. The sleeves just look very wrong with these outfits here. Oh, Nico bought a snow globe. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Nico. That was nice of you. Anybody else? Snow globes? Anybody? Well, this is a bit of a miracle. June sold everything except for one of his wood cuttings here or sculptures or whatever you want to call it. Oh, the street sale just ended. So Junie, oh, I was like, did it disappear? Nope. Junie got the wood cutting back. That's the last thing we have to sell you guys. We don't have any more snow globes. Everyone bought all the snow globes, and we ended up with a total of 8,300 simoleons after that flea market. That was, like, the most successful flea market ever. Dude, no. Go over here. We're going to go over here for sure. And we will hang out with our friends since we, I guess we're already at this law, huh? It makes us visit this law automatically to attend the flea market. So that's pretty good. I'm just trying to see if we have any more snow globes hanging around over here somewhere, anywhere. Oh, we can grab another poster there. And we can grab another poster there. And I'm sure there. I don't see snow globes anywhere, which is unfortunate because I would have loved to get some more of those so we can sell more later since they sold like hotcakes this time around, you guys. Hotcakes. I'm like not even kidding. People bought those first and then they bought the wood car carvings and all right, <clears throat> sorry, sculptures because they're sculptures. I wonder if June can play on this. There have been a lot of uh, patches. Well, just one single patch, but they patched up a lot of things. I don't know if it affected, you know, the selling stuff, but hopefully it did. Let's end the street sale. I don't know why that's still going on. That's a little weird. Oh, karaoke contest has just started. Well, we know how June does with those, and he just ignored my thing to go. To okay, June, go grab the posters. Then you can go pee. What's going on here? You got a self-portrait by Anxie. Okay, we can sell that immediately. That's, uh, oh, that's one of the common ones, of course. What else? What else you got for me, kid? Where is he? Is he not? Okay, who's singing? Oh, Miko. Miko is massive right now, you guys. Oh my gosh. Another Uptown Inksy thing or whatever. Uptown Anarchy. But look at Miko. Oh my gosh. I really hope that's just one kid because I don't know what we're going to do with like another few kids. Oosh. I don't know if Nico Mori has... Mori. Sorry, it's Mori. Ni Nobuya. <laughs> I call him Nico too. I don't know if Nobuya Mori has what it takes to win this, but Dina Caliente is here and she does. And so does Johnny Zess. And... Tetsu. So June has no way of actually winning this thing. I hope he hurries up over here so he can actually pee because he's probably going to pee on himself if he doesn't rush to the toilet. Where are you, kid? Another Uptown Anarchy. Please, go to the toilet. I asked you to do the toilet thing first and you just ran off and did whatever you wanted. Come on. Junie. I swear I, I asked him to do this one last. Oh, he's just like, 
he can't really run right now because he really needs to pee. Dude, if you would have listened to me, you would have already had done peed and everything. Like, seriously. So he's not having a good time right now. So I doubt that he's going to win this contest whatsoever. It's There's not even an empty machine here. Like, that's what I hate about this place. Just three machines. Three machines is good because it means less competition. But at the same time, a lot of people get to sing also because this contest lasts for quite some time. But then, I don't know. Let's get him to wash his hands a few times so that he can be a little cleaner. He'll still be hungry and still be tired and still be lacking a lot of fun. But we'll try to nab whichever... Oh, machine. Same here. Contest. Weekender. Crap, June is still washing himself. I don't think he's going to make it to that machine, is he? Junie, hurry up. Okay, let's cancel the last few hand washes here. Who's jumping on that machine? Nobody's jumping on it. Maybe Junie has it? Nope. God dang it. Okay, let's try to claim this one then. Sing it weekender. Come on, Junie. You can do it. You can do it, boy. I believe in you. Oh, he's just very tired. If he wins this one while well, he's very tired, I'm going to be really, really confused because it just... This game seems to not really be our friend a lot. So let's see if he wins this contest or not. June lost, as expected, but he just decided immediately to go to right to bed on this tiny, tiny thing that he barely fits on. So I don't know what's up with him. He's probably going to wake up because of all the noise right here. So he just chews like the worst. How? He's just like so desperately trying to get into the club. No, dude. Junie seems to be able to sleep just right through this. This is really confusing. But I think he really needs to go home. So I mean, we have to cancel this club gathering a little early to get Junie home. Where's Raj? Why is this locked? We bought that before. Oh, no. Is this that bug? Apparently, there's a bug that gets rid of people from your club up until, you know, if, they're, if you unlock these places. It gets rid of that every time you load in. So this is going to be a little annoying here. We're going to have to earn a ton of club points. Where? Sheet. Well, sorry, Raj. Apparently, you're not in the club anymore. Oh, man. That's rough. That is rough. We're going to have to fix that later if we can fix it. I don't know if uh, some gurus are going to fix it. I really hope they do because we want Raj back in here. Raj is a friend, and Raj is a cool person to have in the club. But for now, we're going to be with these... <laughs> Five people and not Raj. Oh, that's so sad. Let's go home, Junie, okay? This is not a place for you. Did I actually end that, though? I was, like, freaking out about it. Like, oh, my God, where did the seventh per person go? Imagine if Elsa would have been here. She would have gotten kicked out, too. Whoa. Junie is... What? He's having pre-parental... Oh, my God. Is Miko having her baby right now? What? Wait, what? Why is he pre-parental panicking? Let's, let's get him up. What's going on here? I was to send him home, but he's freaking out. Dude, calm down. Oh, Miko's leaving. Oh, man, is she having a baby right now? Let's go home. Let's just go go put him to sleep because he's totally freaking out. Junie, just go to sleep. You know, get it rest. Get rest. Miko will be fine. She'll have her kid, and then you can go visit whenever the kid is ready to, you know, see you. It's a baby, so I guess the baby won't really care. But you can you can probably visit tomorrow, okay, kid? And just, just stop freaking out. Just mm, breathe, relax, be calm. It's not that big of a deal, June. You'll be fine. You're already a parent. I really love that so much. Okay, let's go up to... I heard something on my headphones. That was a little weird. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to sleep here, and Miko will give us a call whenever the baby is born. Right. Our club points disappeared. Yep, we got that glitch. Not everybody got it, but we totally ended up with it. Crap. Oh, man, we're going to have to work hard with the club things here to make sure that... We can actually, I mean, we unlocked everything. The only problem we have right now is that we are missing our seventh member, and we, can, we can't add another member. Isaiah Donaldson, we don't really know you, or do we? Well, whatever. It's Junie's time to sleep. Please don't bother him right now. It's, it's, he's still freaking out about being a dad again. Let's see. Can we even check here if the baby was born already? Baby not yet born. Okay. Oh. oh why does it? I guess it, yeah, because he's not really married to Miko. won't show that. If you clicked on TJ's, though, it would show Miko there. So let's just, uh, oh, oh boy. Oh, another boy. What? What is it with these two having boys? Oh, well, the baby's name is Jacob. I don't really like that name, so we're going to have to... I mean, no offense if your name is Jacob. It's not that. It's just I don't like the name for one of June's kids, so that that's all. But we're going to have to switch his name when he ages up again. What's going on here? Oh, we just got bills. Oh, what, what was that? Who's that? That's the male lady, but who's that? Is that the landlord here? Okay. Was Isaiah Donaldson our landlord? Is that what's going on? Oh, man. Oops, we just turned on our landlord, so maybe that's why he's not going to be friendly. Let's go up here and rent now since June is actually fully well-rested. Do we have any food over here? 
No. Ooh, let's cook something really cheap because I don't want to keep spending money after we're going to spend so much. Ooh, he can make that now. That's right. After spending so much on freaking rent. So let's make one, two, three, four, 20, 10, 10, 10. We're going to make a lot of scrambled eggs and bacon, if that's what it was, and Junie will enjoy it. He's going to go pay his rent and then cook. Good. He wants to use the bubble blower, okay, and practice programming. We can probably do both of those things. I see a box of snow globes over there that Junie can pick up, too. And I'm trying to see if... Where's the poster thing? This. We can grab a poster there, too. All right, so I think a day is already set for Junie, and I guess after we do all that, he's going to have some fun writing a song, if that's even fun. I'm pretty sure it should be because it's kind of like using an instrument. Well, I mean, it technically is using an instrument. I don't know. I think it's time. I think it's time, you guys. Writer June here is just working on a song, but I think it's time that we go and see the baby. I mean, the baby was just born, but I think it's, it's a good time to go and see the baby, right, June? It's afternoon. The baby should be awake, should be fed and all that stuff, not crying. I don't know what June is terrified of, but ooh. He's, uh, I don't think he's very fond of kids although i'm pretty sure he doesn't have that trait that he doesn't like children but mm, no i don't know if he's gonna <laughs> actually pay attention to his kid he has i'm sorry he has two now so his kids his boys oh my gosh you guys two kids uh, at least he wasn't sleeping with a bunch of women because uh, <laughs> if uh woohoo is a little risky just from randomly being like that then he probably would have ended up with just more kids than that Ooh, okay, let's see. Let's see, where's it? The baby, of course, has to be upstairs. Is the baby in the other, in the crib thing? Oh my god, it, they did put the baby in the same crib. Oh, so let's go over here and talk to the baby. Don't talk to Darling. I know you want to talk to Darling because you haven't talked to Darling in so long, but Darling has been just, I don't know. Darling has been annoying with all the, let's go exercise and stuff like that. And this is, let's not, that's what we're going to do. Let's cuddle and coo at and bounce and change diaper and, oh, I can't do anything else. Well, June is going to take care of that baby. Aww. Akira's over here. Akira, were you taking care of the baby instead of June? Oh, I mean, instead of, well, obviously not June. But I see, see that Miko's not here. Clearly, TJ is off at school. Darling is drinking water, as expected, of course. Who else is not going to just stand there and drink water other than Sims all the time? So I guess it's just going to be Junie taking care of the baby here. And we can just, uh, you know, do some talking and... Uh, Okay, apparently I can't do it. Okay, queued up way too many things. And rock the baby and... Come on. Apparently, what, is it? what are you doing? Are you changing the baby or are you feeding the baby? What's taking so long? Oh, maybe he's making a face at the baby, I guess. Oh, yeah, you cute baby. Yeah, you are. Let's, uh, I guess we can... Wait, did we already bottle feed it? Did we change the diaper already? Maybe we can bounce it again. And kua. And apparently we're full up again. So Judy's gonna... Oh, there we go. We changed the baby. What? Aw, oh, crap, we clicked age up, didn't we? Well, Junie <laughs> has another child, another <laughs> big child who looks exactly like TJ, apparently. Whoops, we may have done that a little too soon. I actually didn't even realize I did that. My bad. I didn't think the age up showed up unless you were clicking on the crib, but I could swear I was clicking on the baby. Well, that's what happens when I don't pay attention. Uh, what's your what's your trait here, kid? Let's get to know him so we can. <laughs> this is awkward. Miko's probably like, "What the hell? <laughs> what the hell just happened?" <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there's TJ's gonna be confused too. I mean, at least they have each other to play with now, right? Right? There's a bright side to all of these things that I accidentally do sometimes. Is June? Oh, the kid is gonna come talk to June. Okay. I mean, we do want to get to see which kind of trait he got. I wonder if he's going to be a mean kid. Like, which one of these ch children is going to be the bad seed? Or is there going to even be a bad seed? Where is... Get to know. There we go. Since we accidentally just aged you up, I guess we ought to get to know you. And we ought to think of a name for you, too. I mean, we have TJ, Ted, June. Oh. So this kid is basically depressive. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. He became a uh, big child very, very soon. Oosh. Oh, well, we can teach him a valuable lesson like never accidentally click while without really looking closely at what you're clicking. And express some admiration and then we'll leave because I'm just feeling very, very sketch about this right now. Oh, or should we leave? There is an easel here which we can use to paint if we want to, you know, keep doing paintings to sell for money. I think that would be a good thing, though, for our future yard sales and flea markets. Like, get a few paintings rather than just two. But at the same time, I'm just like, mm, that feels cheaty still because paintings sell for so much money. So much. 
so much money. Okay, don't do that. Let's go talk to TJ instead so we can remind TJ that he's the firstborn and he's loved. What's going on over here, actually? Looks like TJ's waiting for someone. Are, are they going to... Aww. Oh, wait. Whoa, look at those shoes. Oh, my God. I love those. I love those so much. Can those be my shoes? I really want those shoes. It's too bad they don't have those for adults. At least I don't think they have those for adults because I would absolutely love those. But we have to come over here and talk to TJ. Let's uh brighten his day. I'm sorry, kid. And remember, you're the only one with an apartment key now. Your brother doesn't have an apartment key. And I'm probably not going to give one to him yet because I just feel really, really weird about this. So let's joke about nacho cheese, apparently. <laughs> you want some cheese? Uh-uh-uh-uh. Nacho cheese. <laughs> Lame jokes. Man, they look alike. Like, for reals, they look alike. Maybe this kid looks a little happier, even though he's a little gloomy. Like, his eyebrow shape or something is a little happier. I don't know. Two kids. Oh, boy. Let's uh, tell an inside joke, then. Just to... Uh... <laughs> oh, Miko's actually hugging the new kid. Oh, boy. Well, this is just awkward. I don't know about you, but I think it's time for a party. We have not held a party at all. At least I don't think we have. Well, what do you want to do? Kiss Miko. I mean, go for it. We're going to actually start. Where is it? Plan a social event. There we go. We're going to let him kiss Miko before we actually plan a social event. Because apparently this. Well, that looks a lot different than a kiss. Oh, I guess she wanted to hug him first. Aww. Oh, we're so cute together. Let's plan that social event right now. We're going to just do a random party. You know, it's not a reason for a birthday. I don't think it's June's birthday just yet. So that's kind of eh, that plan. This is right. Oh, well, we couldn't see that. But we can do a house party, a house party, a dance party, an incognito costume party, a birthday party, weenie roast, black and white bash, dinner party, wedding, spooky party. I think I just want to have an incognito costume party. Well, what can I hold outside is a thing. I, I don't want to hold it, like, in our apartment or anything like that. It just seems like a big bother. Unless I can hold it. Let's, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see if I can actually hold this, like, where I want to hold it. And if I can't, then I'm sorry. Of course, we have to invite everybody who's at the club. And that includes Miko there. Oh, wait, can I even click over these? Apparently not. Okay, well, I have to look through here. So I want to invite everybody who's at the, in the club. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So we have Yumiko and all these people's faces aren't loading in but darling is our neighbor so sure why not and we want to invite my mom and my dad and our son or well first son and raj i'm so sorry raj and who else miko of course and other son and of course stalker no not stalker where is everybody else in the club i must have missed some people because that's just i always overlook things that i should not be overlooking Alexander Goth, no, you're not part of our club. Lily, I guess Victor can come too. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're over the limit pretty soon. So I'm going to miss someone who's in the club. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean that. I did not mean that at all. That's just an accident. Salim, is that, is that it? Well, how many do we have there? We have 12. We can do more. Okay, we can do more. Okay, more, more, more is good. So let's invite Elsa. Do we really want to do that? She's probably going to start a fight, huh? Let's invite, I think Isaiah is our landlord, so show sure or not, why not? And Alexander Goth, who was our close friend one time, well, not really that close. And did this one check everyone? Oh, no, it's already added other people to the list. And maybe we can invite... Where is he? I'm looking for someone specific. Joaquin, there we go. Okay, now we have 15. An entertainer... Uh, no, we don't want, we don't want to play, pay extra for this stuff. Ooh, Raj can be the caterer. Is that going to be free catering, though? That's the thing I have to wonder here. No. So we can add one more person here, and Raj can just do the catering. So let's see. Who else do we want to invite? Maybe Candy. Candy was pretty nice to us. Okay, so can we hold this? We can hold this at different residences, and that's about it. Okay, let me sort this out, because clearly it's not where I want to hold it. Actually, I take that back. I will hold it at Dad's house because it's a very, very nice place. Like, a super nice place. It seems like I can hold it at different other apartments, but I don't think that's what I want to do. D Dad's place is just super nice. A bro residence with that. What? I don't think I've ever seen this house before. Doc Den. I'm going to have to look for that. But this, that's too small. Goth house, eh. Fang, eh. Yeah. Let's go to Dad's apartment there. Okay. We're going to have a house party, apparently. I didn't. I wasn't really planning for that. I kind of wanted to have a uh, party at the park. But I don't know why I clicked house, house party for that. That was my bad. My bad. Like, 100%. So 
I'm gonna enjoy a little house party here at Dad's place, which is a massive, massive place, and wow, everybody's just gathered together like that. And I'm sorry, Raj, that you ended up having to be the uh, <laughs> the caterer for this, but you're a close friend, and trust me, we adore you. We adore you. You just uh, were the proper person for this. Wow, look at Akira. Let's start thanking people for coming here because, I mean, it looks like it's so far most of the people from our club, so I, I know that. Oh. There's our new son. Or that's TJ. Wait, what, what is TJ in that clothes? Why is he looking... I really need to change the rest of his outfits. I only changed one outfit, didn't I? That's probably what it is. So let's... We can... We can't thank Raj for coming because he's officially not... Okay, this is just a worse outfit. This is really, like, so much worse. Oh, boy. Okay, let's... Oh, something's wrong with Yumiko over here. Let's thank her for coming. And... Ooh, Joaquin, dude, what is going on? Let's thank our landlord for coming over here. And who else? Oh, Joaquin is talking in the mirror. Well, we have to do some more socialization. So let's see. Where did everybody else go? What, what are people doing? Oh, they're playing games up here. I mean, that's fair enough. There's these super nice computers in two rooms. Oh, Alexander Goth, you're looking f mighty fancy, actually. Like, super fancy. Like, what are you doing for work? Let's wait. Where is it? Ask about career. There we go. Do we actually thank you for coming, Salim? I don't know. Victor, where? Oh, wait, Lily is here. You know who I haven't seen, though? Dad. I haven't seen Dad here, and he should be here. So we have to have some drinks, tell jokes. That's gonna be Having drinks is going to be a little hard because... Oh, is that Mom? She's sucking to Isaiah. Isaiah's probably single, huh? Oh, Mom. Mom is going after so many people. Oh, wow, June's talking to like a lot of people. Wow, Miko. Oh, that dress still doesn't look, you know party enough but it does look very very cute on her i, mean, I guess it looks party enough but not this kind of party oh there's dad dad is just hanging out right there june is still apparently talking to a lot of people i don't know dude i don't know please just continue socializing and maybe we can have some drinks i guess we can probably have some jokes with our parents because we really haven't talked to them that much what is he doing oh he had mail whoops i guess we're entertaining guests outside which is a little awkward raj please go start cooking dude so have sims playing games at the same time, what kind of games do we have here? Hmm. Who's that? Is that Darling? Who's so sad that you're, yeah, Darling, what are you doing? She's like walking around so sad and, where'd you get that book? What the heck? Okay, I don't know. I don't see a game console here, unfortunately. That way we can't really play games together. I might have to throw one down. Cause I don't think, is there a downstairs part? Oh, right, there's a pool. I forgot about the pool. Oh, you guys, this place is a very, very nice place. It has, what, three floors here? Yeah, three floors. Okay, any TV with a game console? Because seriously, I can't believe that this place doesn't have a console in it. Like, why? Why wouldn't it? Okay, there's one person playing a game. Hmm, that's a little fishy. Dad, What? don't you like games? Is is gaming not part of your thing here? Well, June's like freaking out right now because he has a lot of stuff to do. And he's watching a lot of people be very affectionate with each other. And he doesn't like that at all. So he's not having a good time whatsoever. Oh, I'm sorry, June. I didn't realize it was going to be that bad. I need some light in here. I really can't see. Like, what's going on here? There's really no console. That's unfortunate. Oh, someone's been telling jokes. Almost done with this. Have Sims kiss. Well, he's going to have to kiss Miko. Like she's been getting into piano a lot lately, huh? I guess she's going to be a pianist? I didn't expect that at all. Hey, Miko's going to be a pianist, you guys. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, I think Junie glitched a little bit because we are stuck here. So let me fix this and add a console so we can get this party started. Or rather, get this party rolling. You know, I thought it was this kid who was actually playing games. But it turns out that it's Candy who's actually playing a game right now. But it, it's actually really, really hard to add a console on a lot that isn't yours. So we're going to ignore that. And we're just going to play some games on our phone here. Oh, June, what are you doing? You're eating some chips. Yeah, you can eat chips later. Let's keep trying to socialize. Let's keep trying to play games. Let's see. Play game. There we go. So you can play some games on your phone. And I wonder how we can get someone else to actually start playing a game on the computer and get this kid off. Because he's just browsing. Like, he's straight up... I don't know. He must be some kind of genius because he's just browsing the internet and not playing a game. Come on, dude. That's the only other computer in the house. Do something fun with it. Uh, oh, June stopped playing games. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. I guess socializing and kissing Miko is going to actually help, though. So let's come over here, thank her for coming, and then we can start kissing her a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, because we have to do that. So we're going to blow a timid kiss. That might count. And then we're going to... Press one. That's not really a kiss, though. Ineptly kiss cheek. That might count. And then we can... I wonder... If... Where's the kiss interaction? Like, seriously, June. You can... Oh, maybe he's too uncomfortable for it. I wonder if that's what the... what's happening right now, because he's just been doing... Oh! 
Well, we the host socialized with guests, so we completed that. But we still have to do a lot of other things, and we don't really have the time. This party is a, a massive failure because Junie's just not feeling okay at all. Looks like he's just too uncomfortable to do kissing, so the kissing's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh man, June, what's going on, honey? What's going on? How? Huh? What can I do for you? This kid is just unfortunately sad and un uncomfortable and all kinds of stuff. Oh, now he's happy again. Okay. Possibly we can keep all the kisses now because we need him to kiss her like there's no tomorrow. Timid kiss, sure. And... I guess I'm the last one. I know that for sure. And unflirty kiss. And last one should be a kiss... Where's a kiss hands? Okay, kiss cheek, sure. I think kiss hands is the one that happens when you're actually feeling romantic already. So one kiss... Or uh, apparently that only counted that one kiss. Does it count cheek -che -che kisses? Okay, it does. I was like, how do you say that? I can't pronounce that. Cheek kisses. It sounds kiss cheeks. Lily's reading. Okay, two people are playing games. We can hurry up and do this. Let's play game. Play game. Play game. No, one person stopped. No. Oh man. Actually, I think they both stopped. What's going on here? You guys, we're not gonna get e we're not gonna get silver at all. We are not getting to silver. It, we had it for a moment. We had it just for a moment. There was someone else playing games on there. And then they went away. So let's see if we can actually start getting some drinks up and running for people here. I don't see a bar here. Is the one downstairs, is that actually a bar? That doesn't look like a bar. Huh. There's no bar on this lot? Really? That's not a bar. That's clearly not a bar. That's a fridge. Well, no bar. What kind of house is this? Dad, what are you doing here? Like, this, this apartment is really freaking weird. I guess a lot of apartments here are weird. Let's, uh, have a quick meal and grab some orange juice and we can set it down. Oh, playing games. Playing games. Playing games. Play game. Really quickly. Stop doing everything else and just play the game. June. June. June, you can do this. You can do this, kid. I believe in you. What is he doing? He's not playing a game. He's just... to stop and play your game, dude. Please, June, I am begging. Oh, thank God. We have a silver, silver house party, you guys. <laughs> it took a lot for actually June to like get those, t get the timing right. But he did it, and unfortunately, we're gonna end up with just a silver one because we don't have drinks ready. There's just I haven't seen a bar in here. Maybe I'm missing it or something. But uh, getting drinks out of here is just not gonna help a at all. So let's let's try. Let's get some orange juice and some more orange juice and some more orange juice, and we can set it down so other people can drink. I know you're tired, June. We'll send you home soon. You just have to enjoy this party a little more. Come on, dude. It's not going to be that hard. He's eating chips. Just put those down. Oh, oh! look at that. These people are actually having fun. They're dancing and stuff like that. June, you know, you can't call this party a, a very, bad, very bad one because this has been not that bad. People are having fun. They're dancing in the kitchen. This is still a very weird place. Okay, put that down. Don't drink it. What do you want to do? Don't drink it. Just grab another one. A lot of people drink it, okay? Good. Are you, where are you going? He went to the other fridge. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Well, not bad. Not a bad party. Maybe a little extra seating would make it go better t next time. Check your Sims household inventory. I mean, this wasn't really the ideal place to have it then. It's a very nice apartment, but not an ideal place. There's just, there's no bar. I could have sworn that, shouldn't there be a poolside bar? I don't see any. There's just a lot, a lot of food on the floor right now. And there's a bunch of bathrooms, but not a poolside bar. And no game console, which made it a lot harder. Ugh. Okay, noted. Dad's place is not the ideal place to have a party next time. But, ooh, June's actually feeling confident that he got that. So let's make him stop drinking that. He wants to say goodbye to people. I think it's just time to go, June. You can just leave this place. Is Dad still here? Because I don't know why he would leave his own home. I know he's upstairs playing. Well, let's just go home ourselves then, because everybody left and Dad's the only one here. And we don't really want to talk to him right now. It's not like we had a fight or anything, but... It seems like he's really not the most friendly person. He's very dad-centric. He's very self-centric, really. So let's go home now and get some sleep since Junie is just so tired. And maybe tomorrow, hopefully, there'll be a festival or something like that. Something where we can make just tons and tons and tons of money because that is what we are needing right now. Let's see. Can we actually check up here if there's a festival tomorrow? Read about festival. Hey, there might be. Is it, wait, <gasps> is it GeekCon? Is it GeekCon? Oh my god, it's probably GeekCon. Yes, you guys, it's GeekCon. Okay, tomorrow's going to be GeekCon, which means that Junie will be able to make lots and lots of money there. Hopefully, maybe. I'm not going to call him the winner just yet, but he does have pretty good video game and, and programming skills. So he's 
a very likely candidate. But anyway, that is it for this episode of The Sims Wars. Season from rags to riches. If you like it, hit that like button and to show your support and subscribe so you'll be notified of the next four Sims Wars City Loom video tomorrow. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night.